Well, one of our biggest concerns in the office is that the patients cannot communicate properly if they are having a problem. So as the nurse in the office, a lot of times I try to communicate to the patient a lot of important information while I'm doing other procedures in the office. For example, while I'm doing their angiogram and I note if the patient is a macular degeneration patient, I try to stress to them that if they should notice any changes in their vision before their scheduled appointment, that they need to let the receptionist know that they've had a change. And I ask them to be specific as to the change. Um, for example, a lot of times a, a patient will call up, they have an appointment, they accept that appointment, and even though they're having problems, they don't mention what the problem is. Our receptionists are trained to note that if a patient has a change in their Amsler grid, that they need to get that patient in for the appointment within 48 to 72 hours. And if I can make the patient aware that they need to relay that information to the receptionist, it helps so much to get the patient into the office for earlier treatment. The other thing that is a big concern with these patients is a lot of them are already monocular, meaning they've already lost vision in one eye, and they depend solely on the other eye. So I often stress to these patients in particular, you have to let the receptionist know you only have good vision in one eye. This way we get them into the office a little bit faster. Well, believe it or not, I'm a caregiver to two elderly in-laws, both of whom have visual problems. And quite frequently, I notice things with them, which I try to relate to my patients and their families also. Things like sitting t closer to the television than they have in the past, or perhaps difficulty seeing their food on their plate when they're cutting or eating. Um, these are some things that can tip family members off that there might be a problem going on at home. So I kind of stress the activity of daily living issue with family members so that they watch their parents or whoever it is that they're caring for and making sure that they are doing the hobbies that they have always enjoyed. Um, if they notice a change in their patterns of behavior, that this may be a clue that there might have been a change in their vision. A lot of the patients have so many complaints, and patients are very astute. They notice things at home. One of the more common things we hear is that in the shower, they notice the tiles in the, in the shower stall or the tiles on the bathroom floor appear distorted. Another very common thing that we hear is that when they wake up in the morning, they notice a spot on the ceiling, be it a dark spot or a purple spot, but they notice a spot overhead that disappears once they've been awake and using both eyes. Um, those are some of the more common complaints that we hear. A lot of times it's also little things around the household like the Venetian blinds or perhaps the telephone pole across the street. Things like that will begin to appear distorted to patients and it, it's amazing what they notice and I always try to at that point with the patient make the comparison with the Amsler grid so they realize these are the things we're monitoring too. Having worked in the retinal field for the last 17 years with Dr. Maisel, I've watched so many changes take place with new medications and new treatments. And the one thing that I can do is I can reassure them now that now there is a treatment. There's not a cure, but there's a treatment. And by telling patients, if we catch this early, we can help maintain your vision. So we may not be able to cure the macular degeneration, but you're in the right place where we can treat your macular degeneration. And I think that's the most reassuring thing to patients, that there is a treatment available now.